Um, Mina-san? Okay, so I guess you're super familiar with dock menus, even if Gnome hasn't really one of those. Erm, um, ironically, this is the actual reason you know so much about them, or at least it contributes. It's the drama the dock withdrawal has caused to you and made you know everything about them. Literary. Every Gnome user is also the best dock designer in universe and beyond. Anywho. Oh my god, I can tell this, I'm sorry, I'm just learning my new AI. So, anywho again, speaking of docks, there is a dock extension that constantly gains in popularity. And by gaining in popularity, I mean, I'm using it. At least for the moment. Um, let's give some context to the story maybe? Since the very first release of Gnome 3 in 2011, we had the same dash appearing on shell overview as today. Back then was placed on the left edge. But the point is, we still didn't have an option to dock it and make it visible on desktop mode too. But in just a GNOME release later, that's only after six months and GNOME 3.2, we had the introduction of dash to dock extension that was docking the dash on bottom and optionally on the edges. And additionally, it had an auto hide functionality too. Obviously, it became immediately accepted by many users. Although personally, I was the biggest fan of dash to panel, that was released in 2015 for GNOME 3.38. Meanwhile, Ubuntu had ditched GNOME 3 in favor of Unity, and one of the reasons, and that's a true story, was because of the controversial shell UI design including the missing dock. Well? Yeah, maybe one day we'll, we'll get <laughs> Unity back. <laughs> so Ubuntu went back to GNOME. And on the way, they forked and used Dash to dock so they could mimic the Unity interface in some extent. Everything leads to this point after all. Whatever. And trust me when I say this. Whatever Ubuntu touches it gets destroyed with their latest achievement, the LXE containers. The Dash to dock repository nowadays? Nothing but a mess. There is an Ubuntu branch that is like 700 commits ahead the main, which is a bigger mess because Ubuntu is supporting only a few options of dash to dock, so the rest are basically untested and in my case at least the extension crashes the Wayland session on boot. Therefore, there is a newer project, it's already two years old to be more precise but still newer, that comes to replace dash to dock on non-Ubuntu machines, and it might have some tough spots, but it also brings some new gimmicks like the magnification icon animation on hover. Here we are now, and first of all, it's very essential to play with the settings because the defaults aren't very good. The first choice is to move the dock from the bottom to the edges, right or left. But it's not going to happen. So I put it back already. Then we have the option for the icon's animation, and a cool bounce effect on launch. But it's very discreet to be honest. Oh? The auto hide is not enabled by default, so you have to activate it. Hmm and the press sensitivity sometimes fails. So till it gets fixed, you may want to disable it. Next, on appearance we can and we want to shrink the icons. We can change the size, although the minimum is already huge, so it's kind of pointless. We can tint the icons color, which I have absolutely no clue why someone will ever do that. Then, we can extend the dock to full screen width so it will look like a panel. We can change the panel's distance from the bottom, which is kind of neat. We can set the border radius and border color too. We can change the shape and the color of the indicators, but unfortunately it can't get the color from the icon. And then there are some very promising options for changing the top panel color. For example, we can even make it transparent. However, that doesn't really work, because it won't dynamically change to opaque when we have windows nearby. But you have nothing to worry about, I will upload another video when GNOME 45.1 is out, to show to you how to do that properly. Here you totally need to tweak things up, because the default is like that. Like the super hugest magnification in computer history, so you need to put it much lower. Um... Then we have some performance options, I'm not sure what we are supposed to do with those, but I can tell is an overkill, especially when the dock is called light. Then, hmm, there are some options that are missing controls or something? Who knows? And the scroll sensitivity? I don't think it works. Finally, we have some preferences for the things we want to have visible on our dock. Again, I'm not sure if all those will work, and if they will work on any distro, 
For instance, the trash is available on Ubuntu, but it won't work on Fedora, or on GNOME Upstream for that matter. Chiwafukata, and never ever miss to read the pinned for additional content.